Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dolores on socials. It's Dolores Carter, Dolores Carter with two R's or read with Dolores on my bookstagram. Today, I am going to be taking you guys through my day with me as I read for a full 12 hours, okay? I saw this 24 hour challenge. I've been seeing it everywhere, 24 reading, reading 24 hour challenge all over YouTube. And a girl I follow on Instagram, um, her name is Hannah. Um, I will link her Instagram account here and I'll put it in the description box as well but she put something in her stories like, hey, like I'm going, I'm thinking about doing a 24 hour reading challenge, a readathon. And I'm like, that sounds so stinging, so stinging cool, except for I cannot commit to a full 24 hours of reading. Why do you say? Because um, I just have things to do and also I cannot stay up to like, you know, three o'clock in the morning, like all, like tw 24 hours. I definitely cannot stay up for a full 24 hours. I have things I have to do tomorrow. But what I can commit to is a full 12 hours. So right now it is nine o'clock. I am going to start this in 30 minutes, but first I'm gonna go ahead and get coffee, come back and start reading. Maybe I'll go to the park and read at the park, but I'm gonna take you guys along with me and let you guys know which books I'm gonna try to get through in this 12 hour readathon. Maybe a little more 12 hours, but I'll keep you guys posted. Rocks, chip, keychain, chip. Let's go get some coffee. <laughs> All right, am I currently in the longest Starbucks line ever? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Um, I am. But um, I wanted to share with you guys the books that I'm going to be reading because this is also taking up a lot of my time. And um, I'm ready to get Starbucks and then I'm hopeful that I can get back home and I have time to start on time. But if not, then I'll just extend the time because that's how days work. I'll talk to you guys first about the one audiobook I'm gonna try to start and finish today. I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do three books, <laughs> do three different books, um, mainly because like why not? Um, see if I can get through three today. I really have no agenda. Thank the Lord, this is my spring break, so this is literally the only reason why I can take an entire Saturday day to read. Also, um, my hubs is working this Saturday and Amos, which is my husband's name, he normally does not work on Saturdays, but because he does this weekend, it gives me the advantage to do things like make a video and run to Starbucks. And so, first book I'm gonna, audio book I'm listening to is actually Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. I think, I believe it is by her. Um, it's just an extension to the Twilight book series. I never, like I read all the Twilight books as a kid and then never finished, never read Midnight Sun. And somebody on Instagram like two weeks ago was like, did you ever read Twilight Sun or Midnight Sun? And I'm like, what? Didn't even know that was a book. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and then I'm going to, <laughs> this is so bad. I posted about this book like a while ago. Um, I'm gonna actually finally start the Vampire Academy series. Um, I think there's six or seven books in that series. So I'm gonna start with the first one. And then um, my mom and I are reading a book together by Dean Koontz. And I am struggling to think of the name of the book right now. So I'm gonna come back to that. Okay, so the book is called By the Light of the Moon. I don't know how I forgot that, but um, my mom and I are actually reading this book together, which I'm really excited about because this is her birthday month and it's been a while since she's been able to pick up a book and read. Um, so she's gonna read this book with me and I'm really excited, but I figured I'd get a little start on that. And then I really, really, really need to start um, The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna, which I have not started and I've been trying to start for like ever. So I added on a book, so four books, okay guys. Um, but we'll see I feel like the audiobook will be like the one I get through the most I'm actually gonna like I'm gonna start a little early and listen start listening to that right now while I'm in the Starbucks line I feel like I can definitely I feel like I will successfully get through at least two books but definitely not the four wins because that book is stinking huge but maybe right like let's have let's have some hope um in the comments if you guys are like you know still hanging on here let me know what you, you guys have done this before um and what books you're reading if you are doing this now or if you have done it or whatever let me know down okay. in the comments. so guys 
stinking. All the Starbuckses I've been to have been like super duper out of this brown sugar almond oat milk drink, whatever the new brown sugar one. And um, this Starbucks is finally not out, so I'm really stinking excited. So I got that. But I wanted to um, again just say, okay, so I'm doing this like 12 hour book read, but I'm gonna take it easy myself. I don't think like I'm gonna like do laundry and like dishes and stuff in between. And I just like wanna like keep it chill. I know some people I've seen on this challenge that just like are like. Put, pick up a book, put down a book, put up, pick up another book, put down a book. I'm like, when do you eat? When do you pee? When do you know? Whatever. And like, I just want to like make this as chill of a day as I can because it is my weekend. So it is my Saturday. And yeah. So just so you guys know when you see in the video of like, oh my God, she like, probably didn't read for two seconds. You're probably right. I didn't. So. Again, apologies if this is like the longest YouTube video you've ever seen, but like so happy you're watching. Okay, so it's almost like 12 and I am about, I think like not 85% done with Midnight Sun. But here's the thing guys, it's because I listen to books on my audiobooks on like the 1.50 speed, so 1.50, um, really, really fast. And if I miss something, I'll go back and slow down for every chapter. So I think, I'm gonna double check because I'm recording on my phone right now. So I think I'm either 85% of the way or 90% of the way done almost done with that book and then got vampire academy so by rochelle mead so i'm gonna get started with the actual book itself with its actual story only 332 but i'm gonna guesstimate like anywhere between 340 and 550 because the rest of the pages aren't numbered and i don't feel like counting them so we're just gonna say 345 but start this one um but in the meantime i'm gonna make lunch because there goes hungry and i'm not gonna make anything nutritious and delicious i'm gonna eat ramen i'm gonna finish drinking my coffee and for some reason like my coffee is like i could drink my like iced coffee that i like yesterday i got iced coffee and i think i got it around like eight o'clock or 9 30 and i was still drinking it no, I got it like at 10 and I was still drinking it at like 1.45 p.m. So I don't know what the deal is, but it's like Starbucks's coffee doesn't melt. Um, and then, yeah, I um, this is my first time having their iced brown sugar oatmeal, oatmeal, oat milk espresso. Um, but it's it's okay. I don't know if it's the best I ever have, drink I've ever had, but I think it's because like, I don't know, you guys literally cannot see that. But you see the bottom? I think like the brown sugar got to the bottom and like I'm doing their whole sippy cup style normally I add my own straw so they have like reusable um, metal straws here at home so I'm gonna do that but I just didn't so this I think at the end I'll just have a big gulp with cinnamon and that'll probably be really gross but I'm gonna eat and uh, continue to listen to my book so yeah I'll pop back in with you guys in probably like another hour hopefully I'll be done with the audiobook midnight sign and then oh i didn't even mention so the book the by dean coots um by the night of the sun or by the light of the moon by the light of the moon i had like an actual hardback book and when i decided i wanted to read this with my mom i was like oh i'll give her let her borrow the hardback and then i'll just download um or rent the other book from my library but i found an audiobook as well so i'm gonna also be audiobooking that so we'll see but yeah i'm feeling pretty cool pretty productive getting one book done and then hopefully like I feel like I'm doing I'm doing a lot better than I thought I was gonna do this morning and I thought I was gonna do last night so okay so um and it tried to not even finish tried to eat some of that ramen and it was like extremely gross and now i just want cheeseburger but i made a smoothie strawberry banana mango um smoothie and then i put water in it and dairy free yogurt because we are dairy free queens over here um made a list of the books that i'm trying to get through today um i can oh i got one got it wet I can check off Midnight Sun, y'all. Um, and also, it's like 1.30 now. So, whoop, 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 whoop. Um, I'm going to head to the park, I think, because there, it's not super warm out, but it's like pretty out. And figure, might as well start Vampire Academy outside. All the vampire today, right? Like, two vampire books. But, yeah, I'm going to do that. And I'm thinking about switching the book I have called The Four, like, to not read The Four Winds today. It just feels really like a lot. So, 
I might switch it out for another book I have, but I'm gonna take Vampire Academy with me to the park. Okay, I genuinely have no sane idea how you guys do this for 24 hours. Um, 12 hours is like a killer. It is, I think, around 6.30 right now. And so far all I've gotten through is Midnight Sun um, and part of the Vampire Academy. But I feel like a majority of this time I've just like sat and like stared. And then like let's count in driving to the park and back home. Um, but like, guys, why is it taking me so long? It's only been, it's only two books like am i okay i will say though i did get on instagram quite a bit today i tried not to because i was like my intention is just to read but yeah so so far i've completed one book i was just about done with the vampire academy and i'm like okay i'm getting bored so i'm starting the lost apothecary and this book doesn't look as wild um like doesn't look as large it has, which maybe it is, maybe I'm just wrong, and who stankin' knows. Look, this has 301 pages, and this is actually part of my March book of the month. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start this one, and then come back and finish this guy. But my husband's almost home from work, so I'm really excited to see him, and tell him about my crazy day, so that'll be time away from this as well. So, and I did call my mom today. There was distractions, but still, I'm shook that you guys, like people are just like, I can read for 12 hours straight, or 24. I honestly might like send this make this be like 15 hours or however long because literally guys like these books aren't very large I just have like no attention span I'm so don't know how you guys do it but you are all my heroes okay in bed slowly but surely finishing I haven't actually left bed in like two hours but finished up dinner Amos came home and I asked he was wanting to do frozen pizza and I did not want frozen pizza so I was like can you get frozen alfredo or something quick to make like that so we had that broccoli noodles and chicken again <laughs> this book should not take me too long but I've not gotten very far because a friend texted me about Aerie. I don't know if you guys ever shopped on Aerie, but about their sales and got super distracted and decided I needed new shorts. So I think I would rate this day on a scale of success, probably like a four, three and a half. But overall, I feel like I really had a good goal set out and I was very ambitious. So I would say if I, like I said earlier, I believe if I just got two books read, I was going to feel very accomplished. So I think I can finish The Lost Apoth Apothecary in about an hour and 10 minutes. guys so it's like 10 30 so went over a little bit longer than I'd like to for these books um, but I am in the last chapter of the lost apothecary um, so that will be fun so I'm finishing that one up so I did that one I did read slash listen 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 to three books today so I did get my life together and I finished Vampire Academy and then not in my hand, but audiobook. I finished The Midnight Sun. 
And then, lastly, I have finished The Lost Apothecary. So, did that. One book I didn't get to today that's actually on my March um, TBR which I hope to get to before this month is over because I'm starting my book club in April, but um, that is The Four Winds by Chris and Hannah, so did not get to read this one, but hopefully in the coming months I will um, because I don't think I'm going to actually order any more book of the month books until I am done reading all of the book of the month books that I have. So yeah, um, also just had the realization tonight that it is daylight savings time tomorrow. So definitely glad I'm kind of done with this because if I stay up late, I'm technically like missing a whole hour of sleep. And so that would not be fun for anybody. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, for tuning in. Hope you guys all get amazing sleep. And that if you do this challenge, let me know comments in the la leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys have done this 24 readathon challenge um, or 12 hour, 13, 14 hour um, readathon. And uh, yeah, if you guys have, then let me know if you guys vlogged it or videoed it so I can watch your videos. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video.